to my channel. My name is Dylan. Today is going to be a celebrity inspired look and I am inspired by the one and only my queen Beyonce. So as you guys know or if you guys don't know Beyonce and Jay-Z are on tour right now for their on the run tour part two. Like I said in my get ready with me I'm gonna be going I'm gonna be going four times and you know, yeah, I just I can't see her once, you know. I mean, I am part of the beehive after all. So there is this look that she wore at one of the shows, and all the looks on the shows are that she's been wearing on the shows are very similar. It's just really gold, like smoky eye. Like this looks stunning. Like when I saw this, I just knew I had to like recreate it. It looks amazing. I believe Raquel Beauty was the one that did this look. Sir John is her usual makeup artist, but lately she's been using Raquel. Um, as her makeup artist for On The Run. I did pretty good, right? I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not as good as, you know, hers, but you know, I came out really nice. Before we continue, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, you guys, welcome. I make videos like this every so often. Please subscribe to my channel, follow my social medias down below, and also click that notification bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Now it's a mango juice with ice. So good, I love it, I love it. So starting off with the eyes, I'm gonna be starting with the usual eye primer that I use, which is the MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base Prep and Prime. I'm gonna be going in with the Style Nanda 3CE, Three Concept Eyes, um, Mood Recipe Smoother Palette, and I'm gonna be taking the shade all over the crease. I'm also going to bring that crease color over onto the outer corner as well with a smaller brush. I'm also going to be going into the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia and I'm going to be taking the shade Sienna for the outer corner as well. For the lids, I'm going to be taking the shade Game Face from ColourPop, their Super Shock Shadow. Now, this shade is not really going to matter because I'm going to put glitter on top of it, which is like kind of like this copper gold color. So it's not really going to matter, but this is just like kind of like a base color. I'm going to be taking the NYX Glitter Glue, and then for the glitter, I'm going to be using the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Copper Glitter. For concealer, I'm going to be taking two concealers. I'm going to be taking the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced in the shade Light Medium and also the Shape Tape Concealer in Light from Tarte. For setting powder, I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and then I'm going to set a little bit of my face with the Hydra Mist Powder from Becca. For contour, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Mocha Match Stick, and then for bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Balm's Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer. For highlight, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Glow Kit, the Nicole Guerrero one, and I'm going to be mixing Forever Lit, Forever Young, and Daydream. Mm -hmm. 
for blush, I'm going to be taking the ELF Dark Blush Palette and I'm going to be taking this peachy orange shade right over here. For eyeliner, I'm going to be taking the 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil from Urban Decay in the shade Demolition. Along with smudging the liner out, I'm going to be going in with the shade Cypress Umber on the outside portions of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be going into Sienna and also going back into the 3CE shade from the Smoother palette. And then I'm going to be putting that, all that on the lower lash line. For my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm going to be taking the shade Glistening. For setting spray, I'm going to be taking my all nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. I'm also going to be taking the Cover FX Dewy Finish setting spray. I'm going to be curling my lashes and then applying mascara and then I'm going to be taking the Queen Bee Lashes. For lips, I'm going to be lining my lips with the NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Pencil. And then I'm going to be taking the Bite Beauty Coffee Gloss in the shade Dirty Chai. Correction, the French Press Gloss, not the Coffee Gloss. Um, but it does have coffee in it. I love this gloss. It smells good, it tastes kind of good. It's one of the like the lightest glosses I've ever worn in my entire life. Um, because the formula, first of all, it's by Beauty, and the second of all, usually glosses, you can feel them on the lips. I mean, with this one, you can feel it, but it's very light. Like, you kind of almost feel like you don't have it on, whereas a lot of other glosses, which I love, they have a more of a heavy texture, and you can kind of feel it on the lips. Even though some glosses are advertised as like a comfy gloss, this one is truly one of the most comfortable glosses I own. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love, love this look so much. Like, I'm really feeling myself. See what I did there? I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.